another feud that really dominated this year. Kurt Angle versus Jeff Jarrett. What are they fighting over? Karen. Karen was once Kurt Angle's wife. Then they got divorced and she married Jeff Jarrett. Jeff and Kurt have been fighting ever since. In fact, this, this incident right here that we, we've put on television is the reason Dixie Carter was able to basically oust Jeff Jarrett out of real power in TNA and take over. This is the reason why Hulk Hogan came into TNA in 2010 and completely ass-raped everything about this fucking company. This feud is the reason why we don't have a six-sided ring. It's the reason why Awesome Kong is singing home pregnant right now under WWE contract. This fucking angle is why Taylor Wilde is retired now. This fucking angle is why Christopher Daniels went to Wayne of Honor for a year, joined the House of Truth, and then came back. This fucking angle is why the Knockouts division sucks. This fucking angle is the reason why Jeff Hardy is in this company. This fucking angle is the reason why Mr. Anderson is in this fucking company. This fucking angle! I hate this fucking angle. I hate everything about this fucking angle. I hate, I hate the fact that this fucking angle went on for eight fucking months. Eight months! On television. Kurt Angle. You took my ex-wife who I don't fucking like anyway. Jeff Jarrett. I was a better guy. Fuck you. Karen. <laughs> Finally. Slammiversary. Jeff Jarrett and Kurt Angle have a match. This is after months of matches stipulating that if Kurt Angle lost, he lost custody of his kids. A match where if Kurt Angle lost, he was forced to give Karen away at uh, the Jarrett's <clears throat> renewal of their wedding vows on an episode of Impact. A cage match where both men nearly killed one another. And then even though Kurt Angle won this supposed final battle at Slammiversary, we have to have one more match. And it's a street fight. No, no, they, they literally fight in the parking lot. With the stipulation being that if Jeff Jarrett lost this fight, he was going to be forced to move to Mexico. You think I'm kidding. You think I'm joking. The people who don't watch this fucking show, you're, you're watching this right now thinking, there's no way. There is no way a parking lot brawl between Jeff Jarrett and Kurt Angle would have a stipulation on it. And number two, that the stipulation would be that if Jeff Jarrett lost, he would no longer be able to live in the United States. Oh, and he couldn't take Jeff, and Jeff Jarrett couldn't take Kurt Angle's kids with him. Jeff Jarrett had to move to Mexico without Kurt Angle's kids. <laughs> this happened. And, that, and, and what made it worse was, there was no definitive winner. Kurt Angle kind of just beat up on Jeff Jarrett for a while. Jeff Jarrett kind of beat up on Kurt. Uh, Kurt walked away from the fight, but Jeff Jarrett wasn't out or dead or conscious or anything. He just didn't get up and run after Kurt. So Jeff Jarrett goes to Mexico and becomes a Triple A champion. And then a month later, Kurt Angle joins the point where you kind of have to wonder what Kurt Angle's priorities really are because you see the people he's really mad at Jeff Jarrett and Karen they're kind of in immortal with you I would say fuck over Jeff Jarrett and Karen and help Dixie get her car company back then fuck over Dixie or not 